Today we're going to be sharing four medicinal plants that are used in traditional medicine to treat piles. Keep watching. Okay guys, so this is the first plant that we're going to be looking at. Most Jamaicans, if not all of them, should be familiar with it. It is commonly referred to as leaf of life here in Jamaica. But in other parts of the world, it has many other common names. For example, it is also known as air plant and life plant. In Jamaican folklore medicine, we mostly use it to treat respiratory issues. But in other cultures around the world, it is used to treat a lot of maladies. In the past, we did another video on this plant and we gave a very detailed profile of it, including some of the ways that Jamaicans use it in their traditional medicine to treat um, respiratory issues. If you'd like to see it, you can click on the link in the description below. So Leaf of Life is a plant that grows in tropical and subtropical regions around the world. You know, like in Africa and Asia, for example. Here in Jamaica, like many of our other medicinal plants, it just grows organically and wildly also abundantly all over the island so you'll find it in people's backyards and in other green spaces in traditional medicine a drink extract of the leaves is taken two times daily to get an effective cure for piles. Moving on to our second plant, we have this plant which is commonly referred to as periwinkle here in Jamaica. Periwinkle has other common names in different languages, depending on which part of the world it is found. And if you have been watching all our videos in recent times, then you should be familiar with this plant because we published two other videos about this plant. One of them, gave a very detailed profile of this plant and some of the ways that it is used in traditional medicine was shared and in the other video we shared three medicinal plants that are used in traditional medicine to reduce blood pressure and this was one of them if you would like to watch any of these videos then you can click on the links in the description below now, periwinkle can be found growing in other tropical and subtropical regions around the world. And here in Jamaica, it grows wildly, organically, and abundantly all over the island in different green spaces. A tea is made from the leaves of the plant and um, this is taken twice daily to treat bleeding piles moving on to our third plant which is this one scientifically it is known as mimosa pudica and here in Jamaica, we commonly refer to it as Shame Old Lady or Shame Amaka. Simply because whenever the leaves of the plant are touched, they fold. 
In other parts of the world, it has many other common names and it can be found growing all over the world in other tropical and subtropical regions. Here in Jamaica, it's a plant that can be found growing all over the island, mostly in persons' backyards and in other green spaces. And it just grows organically, wildly and abundantly. This plant has a lot of uses in traditional medicine, but we're only going to be concentrating on how it is used to treat piles. So guys, in traditional folklore medicine, it is used externally and this is usually done by using the leaves to make a paste which is then applied as a poultice regularly on piles to ease burning and bleeding. Moving on to the fourth plant and this is something that we all should be very familiar with and that is onions. Now onions may not be as valued as garlic but they do contain potent compounds that can benefit our health and um, the bulb which is the rounded underground part of the onion is usually used in folklore medicine to treat different maladies. Now we're going to look at how onions are used to treat bleeding piles. Twenty milliliters of raw white onion juice is taken daily in the mornings on an empty stomach. Onions may aggravate irritable bowel syndrome and they may cause heartburn. Some people may also be allergic to onions and they may help prevent the formation of blood clots and this is not necessarily a good thing if you're taking certain medications because you know they could interfere with these medications. Onions may also irritate your eyes when you're chopping them and they will cause bad breath. Medical disclaimer. The information shared on Earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment. It is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine. If you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns, please speak to your doctor about same. 